A heartwarming reunion, 14 years in the making. A life-changing moment left Sophie Carrigill unable to walk. Yeah, but it gave her the power to persevere and inspire others. WLWT News 5's Chris Jacobs was there for Sophie's reunion at UC with the people who saved her life, and she he joins us now, Chris. Yeah, just one of those unbelievable moments today. Sophie Carrigill has not let her disability slow her down. If anything, it's strengthened her spirit even more. After a car accident in Indian Hill, 14 years ago, a team of doctors at UC Medical Center gave her a second chance at life. She's in Cincinnati for the Forbes Under 30 Summit, but while here, she made a stop at the hospital for a very big reunion and a very big thank you. It's unreal to be able to come back here. Obviously, 14 years ago, my life was saved in these buildings. It was nothing but hugs and smiles at UC Medical Center this afternoon. Hello! Oh my God! I'm so good. Paralympian Sophie Carrigal embracing the literal helping hands that made this reunion possible. The connection that I have to the people here um, will always just be a really important part of my life, a part of who I am. A terrible car accident in 2010 left her gravely injured, but this team at UC Medical Center saved her from losing more than she did. I never imagined I'd be strong enough to play sport. You know, even recreationally, never mind for my country, you know. She was with us for close to two months and was, was very critically ill. Uh, was cared for by an entire team of people. An ability to conquer obstacles, according to Dr. Timothy Pritz, pushed Sophie to find a different path, becoming a world-class athlete, competing in the Paralympics, and becoming the captain of Great Britain's wheelchair basketball team. She has grit, she has resilience, uh, she has an incredible work ethic. You know, she has, she has earned everything that she's, that she's gotten. One doctor at today's reunion saying Sophie's case helped change the course of her life. And I was a surgical resident, still kind of learning, not sure what I wanted to do with my life when I grew up. And Sophie is one of the reasons why I am a trauma surgeon at UC today. And they still use her case as an inspiring example for other patients. 14 years later to see her again as this beautiful young woman and what she's done and who she's become. That kind of thing will keep any surgeon going for decades. I just kept going. I think as you know, maybe I did throughout my recovery as well, just never gave up the same attitude I have playing sport. Well, part of her mission to inspire others includes her going around the world discussing inequalities that people with disabilities face on a daily basis. But she's also leading the charge. She was named to Forbes's 30 under 30 in 2021. Chris Jacobs, WLWT. News.